Okay, so if you are anywhere near Santa Cruz this weekend, you may just catch a whiff of uh, a more than unusual fresh of ocean air. <laughs> That's because the corpse flower is about to bloom. Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell joins us live at EC Santa Cruz this morning. This is really an incredibly rare thing. It is. Um, and if this were blooming right now, I'm talking about releasing that smell. Uh, we wouldn't be able to stand here because the smell would be so overwhelming. Got Dr. Martin Quigley uh, with the UC Arboretum and Botanic Garden, which is where we're at right now. You've smelled one of these before. I have, and it really is like a large piece of rotting meat in the sunshine with some overlay of feces and other things. It's an intensely disgusting smell, and you have to stop and smell it. <laughs> would, you, would you double over if we were standing next uh, to this while? You could. Some people have fainted, and some people have gotten headaches just because it's so intense. Tents, but we're displaying outside. Uh, most of the gardens have them inside, so you're trapped in a glass house with this <laughs> right. incredible odor. Okay, so you're thinking maybe Tuesday or Wednesday based on the growth? Hoping. Uh, we've got signals now. It's changing colors a little bit. It's going from a very pale green to pinkish, and then um, the space will get purple. So That's um, uh, the, the tip there. The tip there. Yeah. And so once that happens, we know it's about to happen. The day of, the top of it warms up to body temperature, 98.6, and man. that helps propel Propel the smell from the base of the inflorescence up into the canopy of the rainforest where it lives, and then it attracts insects from miles around at night to do the pollinating. And then it dies. And then it dies. Within a week, the flower will collapse in on itself. The pollinated fruits will hang there at the bottom while the rest of it dies away. And the, the smell is uh, bugs like that smell. They do. They are all the insects that lay their eggs on rotting meat. You know, so you think about corpses of deers and stuff and, and rodents and roadkill. Think of all the bugs you see on those, those are the ones that lay their eggs to become larvae in that food source. Unfortunately, the bugs get to this one and there's no meat, but it smells like it. All right, and you said you had about a couple hundred people a day uh, oh, visiting? At least, at and least in the last five days. All right, and we're thinking maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, you guys have a website, people right. can go on and check. And Our freedom at UCSC, make sure we're updating twice a day and we're going to let people know the day of, it tends right. to open in the evening and we'll stay open late with lights on, but you've got to see it, it's a once in a life time experience. Awesome. Can't wait to smell it. Well, I'm not sure I want to, but No, you don't. Okay. <laughs> Guys.